Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a collective and timeless reading. So whenever this reading finds its way to you is the right time. But keep in mind, it's a general reading. So see what signs, symbols, messages, and energies resonate for you. And hopefully help to bring you a little bit of clarity on whatever you're wondering. It could broaden your perspective and show you something with fresh eyes. But in the end, always trust yourself. That divine inner guidance is inside of you. And try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so that your decisions are sound and based in love and for the highest and greatest good of everyone. So we're all uplifted in love. We're going to start with the Mystic Red Rose Oracle. Let's see what God's source, Holy Spirit, Christ Consciousness, our higher selves, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and the greatest good of all. Beauty for the collective. Peace and thank you. That one. Oh, we got big one. We have an engagement ring coming through. This is something coming into a higher commitment. It's the energy of eternity. Always has been, always will be. Partnership and union and completion. Maybe some of you have um, a commitment you're already in, but it's kind of getting uh, deeper. Um, getting like, I don't know, deeper. I see like more entwined. Um, For more in time, I feel like there's cycles somehow. So either this is a brand new cycle that you are getting ready to enter into, or it's like you've gone through a cycle, but I feel like this time around it's going to be different. Um, I see that diamond. It makes me think of strength. So it's like this time you're going to do something with a different inner strength, or something is now stronger than it ever was where it's really getting strong. And then I think of a diamond, like the only way to cut a diamond is actually with another diamond. So I feel like there is something that is of equal strength and brilliance. So, wow, okay, that's cool. Right off the bat, hey. So let's, let's go to something different and bounce around. This is the uh, Soul's Journey lesson cards let me see this again it's also a diamond in a rose the rose makes me think of a flower with a very high vibration also i think of love and something unfolding i also think of how beautiful they smell also stopping to smell the roses you know just as a phrase but the energy of that like really being in the now and like feeling really blessed to have each and every moment. Let's get another layer to engagement ring, please. And thank you. Oh, okay. Well, this is the energy of the reading. We have relationships coming through. So this could be a new partnership, even a new friendship. Um, like I said, something coming back around in a relationship that you're already in or Maybe somebody coming back from the past, or it's a brand new start. So you also have the flower of life here. It's like multicolored too. It's really pretty. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. That's really nice. So this means whatever you're attracting, it's a relationship where you're valued where there's reciprocal energy. Um, I hear trust. I actually hear communion too, which makes me think of um, like really deep conversation, um, comfort in privacy, and also communion with God. So maybe this relationship has a beautiful um Spiritual tone, spiritual underlining, spiritual core to it. There is like 
kind of a white light in the center of that flower of life and it is surrounded with purple so that's like the crown chakra so what do i have <laughs> animal whispers let's get it let's just get some layers and see what comes through clarity on relationships being attracted to those who serve your higher good so it would be a spiritual relationship so even if it's a you know it's going to be deeper than just a hey how you doing you're cool i'd like to hang out with you kind of relationship this is going to be deep and you have the butterfly so yeah you're having a total metamorphosis within yourself within a relationship or possible relationships coming through i would say they're not going to be comparable to anything else that you've been because how you see something isn't the same as when you were crawling around like the caterpillar. There was probably some kind of, you know, state of confusion that maybe just happened, already happened, gonna happen because when you're in the cocoon, it's awkward and it's weird and you don't know what is happening and why something is changing and all the cells are mushed together. But then when things start to come together, you know, I see this flower of life when, when everything starts to feel like it's in harmony and it's like this beautiful snowflake that's evolving and your spiritual wings burst out of that cocoon and you can fly. Everything you see is different. Therefore, everything you attract is different. It says spread your beautiful wings and fly. It feels like such a free energy. Like it, it feels, I, I'm getting like lovely. <laughs> I actually just thought of, isn't she lovely? Um, Stevie Wonder. So let's keep bouncing around. Um, let's see. I have these clarifying love situations. Since we have this Phoenix rising, metamorphosis, beautiful butterfly spreading your wings in joy and relationships and new situations and people that you're finding attractive and are attracted to you in a possible higher level of commitment, completion, partnership, and union. Let's clarify this. What is another message for the collective? Please and thank you. Oh, wow. Travel. I'm going to show you what's at the bottom here. Look at this. So, yeah, you're actually on a new journey. Maybe some of you are actually going away on vacation. Maybe just something by yourself or with your honey or that's where you meet someone. I mean, this looks like paradise. There's an actual plane here. Um, it makes me think of the big jet plane song. Agnes and something stone. Uh, hey, so <laughs> this is a higher level of commitment and apparently you need a romantic getaway together. So this is vacation, honeymoon, journey, long distance love. So some of you might meet somebody online or somebody might actually be at a distance from you. It's movement. I feel like if that's happening, there's, there's definitely going to be a closer coming together that's going to happen. Honeymoon phase and a possible short break. So it could be that something was kind of on a pause. I don't think it's going to be for much longer. Travel. And then at the bottom, look at this, you're aligned. So, I mean, it's, 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 you're attracting the right kind of energies, probably because you're in alignment, but you're probably attracting somebody else that's also in alignment. And this is an ever flowing always changing, always growing kind of energy. No one's ever perfectly in alignment. There's always that flexibility and adjustment that has to be made every day, all the time. So it's aligned with your higher self. You're getting beautiful spiritual downloads here. And then I, I feel like it is making you feel like you're actually free and floating. But look at how the blue connects to down here. So you are still connected with the earth as above and so below. Harmony. I came through twice now. 
harmony, balanced awareness, divine connections, insight, soul expansion, and spiritual growth. Whoo! All right, that's that's cool. Let's continue. Continuing on. Let's get a spirit message. Spirit message to give more depth to relationships, higher commitment, feeling aligned, spreading your wings, and a romantic getaway. Hey. <laughs> Movement. I feel like that's the card. Kind of just popped out. What is this one? Look past what you feel. Or look what past what you feel are your incapabilities. Instead, focus on everything you have achieved. So far is it so far. It is okay to acknowledge your weaknesses, but keep in mind that they do not define you. Your strength and your beautiful soul. There's a song about your beautiful soul. Um, and your beautiful soul. I can't think of who sings it. Um, it's like a younger, younger boy are clear for all to see. So people are recognizing the beautiful parts of you, these beautiful wings. Even if you know the weird facets of yourself, it's telling you not to focus on the, them. Everybody has multi facets and you know, if there's something that you have a focus on and you feel like you need to make a change, then you can make a change. But you are more than capable of achieving something. And if something feels like a weakness, it gives you the chance to grow. To practice something, to try something again. Let's get one more message because that one kind of stuck out, but I didn't actually pull a card. these words. What does it say? What does it say? Your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Uh, events that seem to have been on hold. You had that little short break over here. And maybe you were in the cocoon over here. Events that have been on hold will suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. Make your decisions rationally but sensibly. So you may need you may need to make some adjustments as things change. I want to say be really flexible, um, like adaptable. Don't be kind of stuck. I see like a like a rusty wheel. So don't be like a rusty wheel that doesn't want to turn or maneuver because you're never going to have that movement forward. Kind of put a little oil on your wheel. Be a little flexible to make some adjustments, make some decisions. You can even like change your mind on something if a decision didn't work. Um, yeah, cool. Let's continue. I don't know why I just grabbed these cards, but I guess we're going to do a place. Let's do one place. Clarity on butterfly, relationships, something about to start moving very quickly. The sense of completion, getaways, feeling in alignment, spiritual growth, soul expansions. Look at this. This is kind of a cool reading today. What? Let's just get one place, see what comes through. What else does the collective need to know to be helpful? Please and thank you. A lake. <laughs> Let me show you what's at the bottom. Apparently, some of you are about ready to go somewhere. The bottom is actually the airport. Then you have travel and that airplane. Maybe you need to actually book that ticket. Maybe it's not yet, but maybe just get it in the calendar so you have something to look forward to. Travel hub, departure, arrival, airport lounge. I also feel like that's something in you taking off. So this could be also a metaphor. Um, I mean, this does say that something's gonna start to move really quickly in some areas. You also have this butterfly here, which is flying, elevation. You know, you're aligned here. You have this right kind of relationships coming in or already in your life of 
something for your highest good. Airplanes fly pretty high, but I think this is you actually seeing a bigger perspective on something and your actual energy changes, changing. But then you have this. This looks so peaceful. Maybe some of you are actually traveling to the lake. Tranquil waters and reflections. That's so beautiful. It's like the lake in the early morning. It's not like fog. It's like mist. I think that's a song, Misty. So seeing the right reflections, beautiful reflections in yourself. Paying attention to those reflections. Beautiful reflections between you and somebody else. I mean, it's so still. I feel like you can see that reflection very clearly. Tranquil waters also makes me think of a spa, like, like a beautiful cleansing, relaxing massage therapy kind of like feeling. I'm even getting like a hot springs or mineral springs or something like that, where it literally is like a cleanse and yet kind of a connection to both yourself and possibly mother nature. So should we do a character since this was under the place? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what comes out. Clarity on. Travel. Lake. Aligned. Airport. Engagement Engagement ring. I feel like this whole reading, I've been slightly tongue-tied as well. So maybe there was a lack of communication or you're kind of having feelings, but you're not putting it into words not quite sure what to say, but that could also be somebody else's energy. Um, let's see, one card. Clarity on this reading, please, and thank you. Oh, we have an engineer. At the bottom of repairman. <laughs> okay, so this is really cool. I like the engineer. I feel like this person can figure anything out. Look at that huge machine behind him. I feel like it's a gigantic clock. Like you know just the right gears to put together to get something to function properly. Whether that's a relationship or your own energy or you and your projects or you at work. Um, really coming up with some beautiful plans, but putting plans into action. Engineer architect of solutions, engineering practice, problem solver, complex systems, and technology. Maybe you meet somebody really good with technology or that's you, or you're finally figuring out that solution you were, you know, I'm getting, getting stuck on. I see that like rusty energy before. Maybe something just isn't rusty. Um, is that a song? Something about a rusty cage? I feel like it's a 90s song. Um, engineer, maybe you're getting the, I'm getting like an actual engine. Maybe now something, I mean, this says something was paused. I feel like maybe something was stalling out before. And maybe now the engine is going to start to run smoothly. Like your, ener your energy, your engine your situation, your relationship, like something's going to start to just kind of move. And then you, yeah, I mean, maybe something had to be fixed. Maybe some of you actually need something fixed in your actual environment. And this is an actual repairman that needs to come over to help you, or that's what you do. Maybe you're a handyman. Oh, that's a song. Um, come, 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 come. Is that right? Hey, hey, hey. I'm your handyman. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, I think I may have just combined two songs, though. Um, repair, restore, restart. Yeah, you got a new start coming. And renovate. So it is possible something's going to come back, but I feel like it's just your overall energy. I feel like it's that thing I saw in the very beginning with that diamond. Something's going to come back stronger and better than ever. Just different. Um, 
if there is actually something that you need repaired around your house and you're just kind of procrastinating on it, this could be a small message coming through that um, is telling you to get that thing fixed, you know, put that doorknob in tighter or, you know, change the light fixture up there, but call the right professional to do it. I'm seeing like a leaky faucet. And now I see, I don't know why I see a refrigerator. Maybe it's an actual refrigerator, but now I'm getting that maybe there was something that wasn't just put on, I want to say it wasn't just put on the back burner. It was like shoved way back in the freezer. You know, when you, you kind of have something and you, you, it's way back there tucked in there, you kind of totally forget about it. So maybe there's something that was really on freeze and it's reaching back on in there putting a little fire on something and pulling it out to thaw before it gets freezer burnt. I'm not sure what that meant. I think that was a metaphor, but hopefully that made sense to you. Um, sometimes I get weird little visions. Um, sometimes they're very precise and sometimes they're like a, a little more abstract. So I have this today. This is the Frau Grand Duchess. Hero. I don't really know what to clarify. I have a lot of cards here. So let's just dive right into the tarot and see what comes up as far as the energy going on. Get a little more depth to this reading or possibly a different message to a different department of your life. What does the collective need to know? Foundational energy on this beautiful alignment. Restart, renovate, diving into a complex system, having a little vacation, something finally moving along, feeling aligned, feeling free. I feel like you want to dive into those tranquil waters. Like, one card, please. Oh, wow. Well, if anyone knows how to make a decision here, it's definitely the emperor. If the emperor wants to dive on into that tranquil lake or make some plans or start this brand new relationship or use his beautiful wings to fly, he's going to do it. And if this emperor is feeling this beautiful alignment, his kingdom is going to be really special. So this could be the energy just coming through as a general reading for you to embody, for you to make some moves, for you to actually tap into that masculine, logical, um, it's even like a, a, a provider, the doer side of you to actually build something on a beautiful foundation. The emperor's got it going on. This is the divine masculine. So it is... He has it all. He's an amazing lover. He's an amazing boss, friend, father. Um, I actually just heard it neighbor. He's just kind of got it all. The emperor knows how to run an entire kingdom. He does it through dignity and integrity and humbleness. Here, this, per this guy is just kind of in his suit, in his living room, with his glasses on, reading a book, but he's standing, so he's not sitting down. He's like actively meditating. Not that many people read and stand. This is sometimes an Aries energy, but if the emperor is upside down, I would say that's not attracting somebody who's there for your higher good. The emperor upside down is very, very harsh. I mean, he's still powerful because he's the emperor. He's all of the kings combined. So he didn't get to this position for no reason. But when he's upside down, he's not going out in his kingdom and caring about all of the other people that are in his life. Or um, he makes like harsh decisions. He's kind of a dictator. His way or no way. His way is the only way. When he's upside down, he is not being flexible. 
He has not tapped into his higher self. And the kingdom that he's manifesting is kind of empty. It's empty because people have more of a fear of him than a love. There is not growth for everybody. It's just about his growth. But upright, he's, he's beautiful. I mean, he's not afraid to be flexible. He'll actually take in advice from others, but he's smart enough to recognize if that advice is bullshit or helpful. And he ends up making that final decision on something. I feel like that's stepping back into power. I was going to pull another card, but I did look at this. So let's take that Ace of Swords. I feel like there's something unusual about this Emperor. I don't think it's a normal <sighs> divine masculine energy. I, th I feel like this person's rather unusual. They're a little different. Because when I see this, it's like a bacon wrapped olive. It's just kind of weird. So maybe I'm going to take this and we'll pull another card. So this is having complete clarity and conversations of truth. This is clear communication. The emperor ain't wishy-washy on his decisions. He makes a decision and believes in it, but he is flexible if his decision has new changes that come in or, you know, new facts that he learns about or, you know, something new in his sphere. He has to make adjustments on decisions, but this is coming through to give you clarity. Sometimes it's a really good idea. Sometimes it's a great conversation upside down. You don't have any clarity because you're having wishy-washy communique and or expecting somebody to read your mind. Or it's not getting the whole truth on a situation. But upright, it's when you get the whole truth. I just feel like it's weird. <laughs> Look at that card. I feel like what you're going to find out or this conversation that you had is just not going to be normal. Actually, that does look like a boat or a hat. And kind of like a party. And also like a tent as well. I feel like whatever conversation is going to come through or the clarity that you received, maybe it's just not going to be what you thought it was at all. So if there is a situation you're being a little bit presumptuous about or a person you thought you kind of knew, I think when you get deeper, you're going to discover there's a lot of really cool layers under there. Maybe somebody's really interested in some unusual subjects or they have some hidden talents or they have these beautiful hidden dreams that they never even revealed. It's kind of what I see, but it's an ace. So you need to take a hold of that sword. Sometimes it's cutting away things that are not for your higher good. But using that beautiful tool of clarity to make things that are for your higher good stronger i actually hear more intense i think that's a good thing i hear more intense and then i look at the lightness of this so i do feel like it's like intense vibrations of maybe both love and spiritual energy i'm not even sure what i said right there all right, clarity of the Ace of Swords and the Emperor, please. What is the bridge between these two? The Three of Cups, happiness, healing. It looks like this guy has a bandage on his mouth, like he had to, um, I don't know, like his tooth hurt or something. There's also a coffee, like... Um, not really a it's not really it's like a perk a percolator I need to get a per is that a song is that a Mary J Blige who does the song about percolating I will find that I will find that below this person also has a book but it's a it's a woman maybe waiting for somebody to be healed waiting for somebody to wake up waiting for somebody to be spiritually aligned waiting for communication waiting to make some plans. I'm getting waiting, but just because of how she's sitting, I don't usually get the normal messages with these cards. They're pretty weird. But the Three of Cups is happiness. That is definitely being around people who are in alignment with you. It doesn't have to be the same kind of people. Maybe they're very unusual relationships or like 
really cool people that aren't like you at all, but yet you have this beautiful match in energy and vibration and love. It's having fun. Usually it's like getting invited to a party. You know, it kind of has this kind of energy to it. Usually there's three girls and they have the glass and they're cheersing and they're having fun. Here it's one woman sitting down, reading a book, looking up at a dude with a bandage that's sleeping. <laughs> so it's so different. But I feel like once somebody wakes up, maybe once somebody heals, once this conversation comes, the time is right. Maybe that's why things are going to finally get moving. Healing was needed or a reconnection. I feel like they can't communicate if one's asleep. But typically this is being around others that uplift you, that love you exactly how you are, that actually want to see you be in love. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you have beautiful vacations. They're not jealous that it would be upside down. That would be somebody who, that's the, that's the, the mean girls, you know, that's the ones that gossip and talk about everyone and, you know, look at everyone's, what was that? Where you look at the the incapabilities. That's not someone who looks at someone's beautiful blessings or what they have that's amazing or the accomplishments they've had. That's the people that focus on the one thing that didn't go right because it made them feel better to know that other someone else has faults. But it's, it's just a lower vibration. So it's just being awareness of that if it is an upside down energy. I don't think that's what you're going to like surround yourself with anymore. Definitely, if you're in alignment and you have this big spiritual energy, it's just something you notice. So it's not getting making it worse or joining in that group. It's just not being there. Ain't for you. Or maybe that's what somebody else is figuring, figuring out or healing from. It could be somebody kind of releasing a circle of people like that or those energies in somebody else's life, especially if they're starting to feel this. Maybe that's where all this movement is coming from. And that's what's actually being repaired and where these new plans to figure out, you know, complicated situation are going to come through. Because when your energy is right and you focus on the right things, you see solutions. You see the vibrations. You feel them. You make adjustments and maybe totally new plans to completely readjust your kingdom. The way you communicate is different. I just keep hearing that line percolating. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like also there's a lot of curtains. They're kind of heavy. I feel like you need to open up the curtains here. All right, let's get clarity on the Emperor, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Cups. What is this, the moon? Well, if you have to open up something, that might be why the moon is coming through. It could also be why you have this Ace of Swords, because there's something usually under the surface more complicated than you know when the moon comes out. But when it comes out, it's also really tapping into your higher self, but your intuition to be able to navigate waters that feel like they're deep behind closed doors. You don't really know what you're feeling. Sometimes the moon is where you have some like deep secrets, you know, that you've not like brought to the surface or expressed where something just isn't completely clear, but usually it's just Having that reflection, it's sometimes waiting for the right time to have that reflection or conversation. Um, but once you see it and face it, and that's sometimes fearful energy too, but sometimes things that seem really scary, once you actually see them in a better light, it's not so scary anymore and it loses its power. But this could be also kind of an emotional situation, too. You know why this woman is just kind of brushing her hair? 
There's also like a little piece of fabric and there's like falcons down here or like a hawk, some kind of bird. So it's going with, that's definitely flexibility though. So just think of the tides, you know, how the tides change with the moon and how we are made of water. You know, we always have to go with the ebb and the flow of different emotions. But if you push something under the surface so much, eventually it's going to be like that big, you know, when you push like a ball underneath and then it gets slippy and it pops out of the water. Eventually, if you bottle something down, it's going to just kind of pop out, probably at an inappropriate time. But once something comes out, I feel like you just need to kind of address something here. Maybe have some clarity within yourself and something that you didn't even know was underneath the surface. And then all of a sudden, it's it changes up your energy. You breach the surface. You breathe again. You feel like this butterfly with this wings. It's at the bottom. What is this? They're, the typing on this is so hard to see. This is the Seven of Cups. It has this woman on her... What is she doing? You know those old like sticky popcorn ball things they used to make? I feel like she's doing arts and crafts here. The seven of cups. Look at that. You see those popcorn balls? I feel like I, they would be like, I remember them from when, when I was a kid. They come in like different flavors. And here this person is just painting the mugs or doing some kind of art project. But usually the Seven of Cups is where you're feeling a little confused. Where this mental confusion is actually affecting your emotions. It's living in illusions or delusions or fantasy land. Or not just, just not making a decision because you don't know what to make. Usually it's the person with all the different cups in the air and they're like... Oh, I don't know, do I pick the cup that feels like that? Or do I have the one that has the flowers? Or do I have that one? And eventually you have to make a decision. And there's usually one cup that has the energy that feels more spiritual. It feels golden. It feels different than the other choices. That's usually if you're using, you know, your intuition and your logic, the first one you go for. And it's usually the right choice. But if you go for one and then you're like, mm, that energy is a little funky, that's definitely not the right choice. And it doesn't feel like it's for your highest good. You get to delete a choice. And now you have, you know, fewer to choose from. But sometimes it is having multiple choices. In that case, you have to recognize how to align yourself, balance yourself, and divvy up those your energy or those choices so you're still in balance. But eventually, you need to come out of confusion by making a decision. So let's go to a different tarot to clarify. Who has... Oh, Rose has been here sleeping the whole time. What a good girl. She's just joining us. <laughs> I love her noises so much. And this dog makes the coolest little noises. It's just like the, the best noise she makes is when I pick her up and she gives a little hopperoo, but she goes, Ugh! <laughs> it's so funny. All right, let's get clarity on relationships, engagement, ring, airport, repairman, making a decision, finally having some clarity. Spreading your wings, things finally moving, seeing beautiful reflection in yourself and others. One card, please, and thank you. What is this? Oh, we got the five of wands. All right, so eh, this is like competition. This is when, you know, there are different opinions, too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, but I kind of like this card both ways. I mean, it's a five, so it means something's gonna change. So whatever I was saying before about like being amongst energies that are just kind of combative, that's when you're in an environment and you're not playing on the same team. You're not like trying to help each other. You're just trying to get 
over or be better than the other person. But in this card in particular, this is a good example of actually being on the same team because I kind of see this as the scrimmage match. Sometimes you need a little bit of friction in your life. You need a little difference of opinion. You need a little bit of, you know, like, I'm not pushy in a bad way. This isn't upside down. It's that bad pushy. Upright, it's that, like, um, it's like a, like a, um, like a, uh, like a train, like a personal trainer. Like, mm, I don't want to do another squat, <laughs> but it's a good thing if you do, because then you get stronger. So it's that, like, energy that's just like uh, uh you're gonna do one more time one more one more set and then you're done and then you can take a break and you can go to the spa in that triangle lake but first you got to do 10 more squats <laughs> like that's kind of what i see so these are like little kids they all have their wands they probably all have their own it's like gives me a little bit of like harry potter vibes like maybe they all have their own little talent or their own their own little like spirit animal or thing that they're kind of natural at but they gotta like work together in a little scrimmage match to get better at something. So it, this could be just in general energies that you had that give you a little push, whether it was an uncomfortable push or like a good push, but something that got you more in alignment, something that actually got you to make a decision, something that helped you repair a facet of yourself or a situation that was just creaky and broken for a little too long. This comes through to create a change, to give you strength. It's recognizing if all these opinions and combative energy is actually against you and not for you, or if it's working for you. It looks like one in particular here does have a little extra magic than the other ones. So it could be that one is leading by example to teach these other ones like, no, if you point this wand the right way, look at all the beautiful spiritual energy that you can get. And like, maybe these people haven't figured that out yet. I'm not exactly sure what I said. At the bottom is the eight of cups. So this is walking away from something that wasn't working. This is putting time and attention and love into a situation and it, it's not growing. It's not for you. And when this decision is made, whether this is you or someone else, look at that big moon heading towards the moon. Something that was that emotional situation that felt like something you didn't want to face before. Now facing it, what happens when this person walks towards new territory and new horizon is you discover your nine of cups. You leave something that wasn't working to figure out and discover your ultimate wish come true and how that abundance in your heart can keep overflowing to bring more wishes that come into fruition in your life. But you have to make the choice to go on that journey or you can stick around where something's just constantly being spilt and not good and have, has no growth and that love that you put into you know something even though it's like bittersweet walking away Staying somewhere is, is it, it's like that staring at the illusions. You're just stuck in illusion land and you're always going to be dreaming about your possibilities and your dreams come true, but never taking that journey to reach them. So this could be you or it could be somebody else. But I always feel like with the eight of cups, it's not a complete utter ending that's never coming back. It's not like that. It's that thing is still there. But when you go on this journey to get you aligned, repair something in your energy to make some huge changes in you, to find these huge solutions, maybe be more engaged with yourself, loving yourself, or find beautiful new relationships where you discover gorgeous facets of yourself because that's what others see in you. And if you have those weird facets that come out one day, they still love you and they support you and they still want you to succeed. But it's like being around people that got your back. And if you come back like this one, this divine masculine energy, 
into the situation that was not working, you've changed so dramatically that the way you see that old situation isn't going to be the same. It's still there, but you in that situation is different. So I hope that makes sense. The easiest example I always think of is like the person that goes away to college or something like that. The room is still there, but you're not going to want to hug your teddy bears the same as when you were five, when you have discovered a whole new you being off at school and or maybe just, you know, living somewhere else for a while. Maybe you just really growing up, having some, you know, beautiful new kingdoms that you've been building and you're going to go back and it's still nostalgia. nostalgia. You still love that bedroom. It still meant a lot to you, but you are different in that space. So that's the easiest, most like, like, simplistic way I can I can describe the eight of cups but once you decide to make that journey or someone else does you're gonna have a beautiful discovery of that nine of cups worth the journey so let's sum this reading up with because what the power that's right here let's do it with the power deck what is one message to sum all of this up? I hope whatever came through here was helpful for you guys. Also, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel, for being here with me, for liking all these videos and your beautiful comments. I know it all helps um, get these readings where they need to go. Hopefully it helps many people. get um, one more card. To summarize this reading. Please and thank you. Perfection. Number 17. It's the West and it's black. Oh my goodness, my glasses are so dirty. I definitely need to clean these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's all foggy. I don't know how much I don't know how much good they're gonna do, but hey. Wait, do I have my do I have my other ones? No. I do. Here, let me put my my funny readers on for you guys. These are my dollar store glasses. We're gonna end with these. They're just as bad as the other ones. Alright, perfection. I like this card. This tree is like, look at how it's harmonious, how it's like the perfect position on each brand and yet each one is different. I like the feather. Makes me think of spirit. But this makes me think of both decoration and like the world of growth of an opportunity right there for you to pick. Dream your passion. Fly away. Hey, we're going right back to the beginning. Fly away. I want to get away. I don't want to fly away. What's that? What just came through? Was that Lenny? Did Lenny just pop through at the end here? Hey, ooh, Lenny. <laughs> that sexy man. Oh, go through the hoop of your innermost fears. Where's that moon? Here you go. Where is it? Your innermost fears and desires meet them and conquer them what pain from childhood have you not dealt with maybe that's why i saw the you know the eight of cups in the old room something like that move into the wound of your most secret fears and find the seeds of wisdom that are planted there face what upsets you the most because it's a great teacher that's how we learn and everything can't be rainbows and butterflies and fairies and popcorn and cotton candy you have to have a little bit of friction a little competition miscommunication plans that don't go right time of reflection time to heal time to repair that's what makes life complicated and beautiful Give away whatever is holding you back. 
Wow, that's a definitely a double message in this one. Attracted to those people who serve your higher good and give away whatever is holding you back. And also your insecurities, your ego, your fear of failure of not being loved or fear of being alone. This person's going on this journey by themselves. But I would say they look pretty happy in their own company. And then you get to be reborn into a new state of perfection because you are perfect exactly how you are every beautiful facet of you and with that i bid you adieu i hope this reading was helpful i love you so much and i will see you soon bye